So we want to look at vertical shifts. Vertical transformations happen outside of the f of x function. So f of x is sine x. And on the outside, if we have a term on the outside, that's going to affect it vertically. So if I take a look at y equals sine x, which I've drawn in blue, and we can compare it to y equals sine x minus 1. So if we graph this on our graphing tool, we should see that the, t the point at 0 now is at negative 1. The point at 1 is down at 0. 0 is back down to negative 1. Negative 1 is now down to negative 2. And we get back up to 0. Okay, it's going to be here. And so that graph ends up being vertically shifted down 1. Again, I'm drawing in my four quadrants here. I can see that that graph is going to be shifted down 1. And I can draw it for the whole graph as well. Okay, so we have our that whole graph being shifted down one. So that minus one is going to shift it down two, down one. In the green, I'm going to draw sine x f of x plus two. Well, that should vertically sh shift the graph up two. So every coordinate is going to shift be shifted plus two. So that zero zero point gets plus shifted to plus two. The one the y equals 1 coordinate gets shifted up to plus 3, back to the middle, down, and back up to the middle. Okay, so there are the four reference points. And that, point, that graph, relative to the blue graph, has been shifted plus 2. Sketching the rest of this graph here. And so the graph, the green graph, relative to the blue, is a plus 2 vertical shift transformation. And we should expect this because the function calculated, the whatever the y value is, we're just going to add 2 to the green, minus 1 to the red, and we'll get this vertical shift up and down.